Uh, Brian, congratulations, mate. We're yeah. number eleven, um, but almost we didn't. We didn't. Didn't almost didn't have a fight. No, a uh, day or two before didn't have an opponent. Uh, I've sold a lot of tickets, trade hard as always. Uh, it's disappointing, but Steve pulled out, out of the bag. Got Matthew Sam Samba, uh, a good man, strong, good opponent. Boxed in the Olymp in the Olympics, as I've been told. So good, good. Um, Bit heavier than, than I'd like to come in. You could see he was strong. Um, he was physical, physical strength as well. So. Well, I mean, K R S, K R S. It's a good night for your team, right? Because you, that's another thing we meant to speak about. You just joined Kerdale. Yeah, just joined Kerdale. Um, literally overdrove from me. Um, I could, I could go outside, pick a stone up, I could hit the Kerdale roof. It's that close. So that yeah. was the reason, the main that reason was, is yeah. close, because you've had to travel all yeah, right tra across town all the way to near enough Liverpool Airport, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so I was travelling in um, 35 minutes every every day, every other day, boxing or strength and conditioning. Um, I was with Dave and Joel Tonks for years, um, a lot of respect for them. Um, they, they guided me to part of my career and, and, and improve my skills and progressed, but it was a time for the change for myself. Um, it's a selfish sport, boxing, and you've got to do what's right for you. And um, to be honest, Dave, Dave, gave me the advice and said, maybe you have to shake her up and get a fresh start, and and he um, advised me. So he w was just as a friend as well. So a lot you, of respect you for Dave. You, you've got a young family as well. Yeah, I've so got a young must family. Be, must be hard, like you say, you yeah. know, especially if traffic is bad. Yeah. And suddenly that thirty-five minute journey could be an hour journey. Yeah, but and then also the money side as well. Um, Travelling every day in, in the car there mm -hmm. to and from um, the money, the bills were pe getting paid. Um, now I can walk, now I can walk the gym well, and enjoy well, yourself. So there's been lots and lots of change, but first of all, I've got to go right back because uh, um, British Boxing Board, uh, not British Boxing Board, but Boxing News yeah. voted your fight from was it uh, September last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, against Leeds. Jimmy First yeah. as the ninth best fight of the year. Yeah, it was. It was a good fight and on, on the British soil. Yeah, yeah and uh, Jimmy, hats off to Jimmy. He's just won, gone and won the um, Central Area title. So well done, Jimmy. But we don't want no rematch because we still want you no. yeah. going down to Super yeah. Featherweight, don't we? Yeah, I want to be a Super Featherweight. But if the rematch come up, I'll take it. And I'll, I'll, I'll take That's just an excuse to keep the yeah, weight in there. Yeah, I keep the weight. I'll take them. I'll, I'll, I'll take them out, and then I'll move back to Ireland for Kate. Um, <laughs> Were you confident in, in winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought um, I thought I got it. A few people thought thought I got it. it was a close, nip and tuck fight. Well, yeah, listen, you don't get voted in one of the fights no. of the year if it wasn't a close fight, if it no. wasn't a competitive fight. Definitely. And like I said, there was one point in it at the end. Was it ninety six, ninety five? Was it? Yeah, yeah. So that means I won five rounds and he won six rounds. How's it that way? Might have yeah. shared some rounds. Yeah, shared around, yeah. Hey, I just want to say thanks hey, to the gym. I hey, want to say thanks to Infinity, Browns Barbers, Natalie Four, Gator Security. Who's that, Gator Security? What yeah, nice. See you after the champ. Gator Security is. Um, is <laughs> I know, mate. Yeah, he's right. And um, Team Phillips. Your new coach, isn't it, Gator Security, yeah, mate? So, so thank you, uh, thank you to everyone who's come out for tickets. And the, the journey continues, the dream lives. Brian, when do we see you out next then? As soon as, as, soon as possible. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Just boxed, I'm ready to go. No cuts, because no you, 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 you believe now, you've already stepped up and yeah. you did 10 rounds when you weren't even ready for it. Yeah. Uh, or when you wasn't even, sorry, not ready for it, but wasn't training for it. Yeah. So would would an opportunity like that, if, if Steve could get you a central area fire? Yeah, definitely. And, and, and I think, also I think, they're the fights I need to, mm -hmm. to get up for. Like, when you haven't got an opponent and you're coming in short notice. Because there was talk about really. you being mandatory for uh, Mikey Gomez. What's happened yeah. about that? Mikey Gomez has disappeared. Um, he's fighting. I don't know when he's fighting. He's disappeared. So I don't know. Right. Um, uh, good luck, Mikey. Whatever you're doing. Um, I'm here. All right, mate. Well, listen. Hopefully, uh, some good news will come your way, and yeah. maybe a title before the end of the year. Definitely. And uh, hopefully, we'll be there to watch you pick it up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Brian, you. Brian, you take care, mate. See you later. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.